Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation in radical ways. I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. So, obviously my first method is going to be a little bit more painful than the others. So let's go ahead and evaluate this expression in the general sense. So I'm going to try to evaluate what this looks like in terms of x. So I'm going to go ahead and call that y. And for, you know, convenience sake, I want this y to be positive as well as x to be positive. Great. Let's go ahead and square both sides here. That's going to give us x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x plus so on and so forth is going to equal y squared. And then notice that part of this expression is the same thing as y, this part, so that we can set it equal to y. And this gives us an interesting equation in two variables, x plus y equals y squared. Since our goal is to evaluate this expression right here, we're going to be solving for y. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's put everything on the same side. We want to make a quadratic. y squared minus y minus x is equal to 0. Now, to solve this quadratic, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. If we do, we're going to get y equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is 4x. And then divide it by 2. Now, we end up with two solutions here, obviously, but one thing to keep in mind is square root of 1 plus 4x, since x is positive, this is going to be greater than 1. So if you subtract uh, 1 minus that, this expression, then we're going to get a negative value. In other words, we want the y value to be positive. Therefore, we're going to go with the plus sign. So this is going to be my y value. Great. So now, we know that y is equal to that, so we do have our expression. Let's go ahead and take a look at our expression one more time. So we have x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x plus dot, dot, dot is equal to 16, right? Okay, great. So now we know that this part is equal to this radical expression right here. So we can write it as x plus the quantity 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4x all over 2 is equal to 16. And now from here, you know, we can make a common denominator or multiply both sides by 2. That's going to give us 2x plus 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 4x is equal to 32. And then let's go ahead and isolate the radical and put everything else on the right-hand side. That's going to give us 31 minus 2x. And then we're going to square both sides. When we do, let's go ahead and do it. When we square both sides, we're going to get the following. 1 plus 4x equals 961, which is 31 squared, by the way, minus uh, 2 times 31 times 2. That should be 124x plus 4x squared. I know some of you guys are thinking, like, why is he complicating these things? I just want to show you different alternatives. You know, you may or may, or may not like it, but I just wanted to introduce these methods to you. All right, 4x squared, and now let's put everything on the same side. It's going to give us 4x squared minus 128x plus 960 equals 0. Everything is divisible by 4. Let's go ahead and divide. We're going to get x squared minus 32x plus 240 is equal to 0. Now, our goal is to find two numbers whose product is 240 and whose sum is negative 32. And those numbers are easily found. They are... Um, 12 and 20, so we can write this as x minus 12 times x minus 20 equals 0. Yay, success. And from here, we get two solutions. And I'm going to talk about why we get two solutions. Obviously, one of them is not going to work because we're looking for a certain numerical value. So x equals 12 and x equals 20. Now, if you go back and um, substitute, um, for example, uh, 12 here into this equation right here, you're going to notice that 4 times 12 is 48. Square root of 49 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 12 plus 4 equals 16. So x equals 12 works, but unfortunately, 20 doesn't because 20 times 4 is 80. 81, you get 9. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 plus 20 is 25. Unfortunately, x equals 20 does not satisfy the radical equation. Therefore, we have to reject that solution. All right, great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. 
My second method obviously is gonna be shorter, right? No pain, no gain. So we're gonna write, let me rewrite my original equation or problem. Now here's what I'd like to do. I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. You know, something like this, right? Okay, I don't have to write the whole thing. 16 minus x, and then I would like to square both sides. Let's go ahead and do that now. If you square both sides, you're going to get rid of the, you know, the outside, um, the outer radical. You're going to get this, and the right-hand side is going to be something squared. Don't expand it because this is going to be, be real cool. Now, notice that our original expression is actually equivalent to this, which is 16. Yay, great. So we don't really have to work it out completely. We can just set this quadratic to 16. And as you know, there are two solutions. Uh, 16 minus x can be 4, which means x can be 12, or 16 minus x can be negative 4. This is what we mean by the negative square root. Normally, if you're taking the square root of 16 in the real world, it would be positive 4 only. There aren't two square roots in the real world. And this would be x equals 20, but as you know, from earlier, x equals 20 does not work. Therefore, we end up with x equals 12. Awesome. Great, let's go ahead and take a look at the third method and we'll just finish up with that one. So let's see. Our third method is basically um, starting with the original equation again. Oh, I always wanna write it first. Okay, great. And I'm pretty sure you found another way to do this. But anyways, so notice that I have I don't have a radical on the outside, but I can basically square root both sides, right? Let's go ahead and square root both sides. Uh, let's see, we can use this one probably. Square root, that's not a verb by the way, but anyways, who cares, right? Square root both sides or take the square root if you want. So you're gonna get the square root of this plus that plus this, blah, 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 you know, so on and so forth. And obviously when you take the square root of 16, you're gonna end up with four. Okay, how does this help us, right? Well, here's the thing. We know that this part appears in our expression. So we know that it's equal to four now, great. So now we end up with a real simple equation, like it's linear, come on. X plus four equals 16, and this gives us X equals 12. In this case, uh, since we're not squaring both sides, we don't really end up with any quadratic, so there are no extraneous solution. Now. This brings us to the end of the third method, but not to the end of the video yet, because I wanna talk about something real quick. I hope you don't mind. In the general sense, if you have the square root of x plus the square root of x, oops, kinda of messed up on the writing, square root of x, blah, blah, blah. So these kinds of expressions, of course, uh, we, want, uh, we need certain conditions for x, but anyways, let's just say x is positive. So we can evaluate this, there are some good shortcuts. If the x value, if x can be uh, written as the product of two consecutive integers. They don't have to be integers, by the way, but anyways, let's just say x can be written as n times n plus one, like three times four, four times five, seven times eight, you know, so on and so forth, even though they're, uh, they can be radicals too, but anyways. If that's the case, then this is just gonna be, when you have a plus sign, it's gonna be the greater one. So it's gonna be n plus one. What happens if you have a minus sign then yes, you guessed it right if you said the answer is going to be n. Of course, we're talking about the uh, same uh, factors here. Not the same x's, but the same, uh, well, actually, sort of like uh, the same x's in this case, anyways. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share with us if you have any other solutions or alternatives. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. That's just going to be a really nice video if you like logs especially. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.